Pathfinder. It's so wonderful to meet you. I'm Dr. Suvi Anwar, assigned to act as liaison between your crew and the Nexus Science team. Welcome to my team. I look forward to working with you. Likewise. I can't wait to get to work. There hasn't been much to do so far, unfortunately. I've studied all the planetary scans. I've even had some hands-on experience with Helios soil samples. If you want, I'll send you my analysis on the native bacteria and microfauna. 60 pages. That's... a lot of pages. About dirt. Oh, you don't have to be kind. I know it's barely more than a summary. Anyway, I've waited months to get out there to see Helios. It's why I joined the initiative. The Milky Way was just a corner of a vast universe, a corner of a tiny corner. We're the ones who got to step out of that corner. It's incredible! I guarded a mass relay for some time. I always wanted to see the other side. I totally know what you mean. So will you be joining us on missions? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Me, out there, with the guns and the danger and everything. Why should that be funny? You seem capable. Oh, I'm flattered, but no. I have no combat experience. I'd shoot you in the back. Not intentionally, of course. <laughs> anyway, I've just received some instructions from the science team, and I really should go over them. Later, then. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? You mentioned something about helping design the Tempest? Test pilot, mostly. Plunging through the Nemean Abyss was almost a preparation for the Scourge. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I like the Tempest, but I'm not sure I'd travel between galaxies for her. The Unknown Frontier had its charms, too. It's just strange not having the rest of the design team. I remember Serena debugging Line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner, you remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian art missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Don't sweat it. We'll bring the Solarians home. Of course we will. I just have to be patient, that's all. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. Ryder, when you've got a minute, stop by the medbay. Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> Maybe. What the hell was that? <sighs> I know that look. It's just my biotics reacting to all this. I don't normally lose it like that. A Huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one, before the initiative. Some things stick, though. Like losing the old man. Uh, 
I know it's not the same, but I'm a good listener. I hope you're as good at being Pathfinder. I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you? An untrained Pathfinder and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. You, me, side by side? I like the sound of that. Don't be charming when I'm mad at you. Are you? You're not glowing. Blushing, maybe. Look, there's still the mission. A lot of dreams to fulfill. So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. Back again? Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. <laughs> Nothing serious, though. Asari huntresses figure things out, but I was there for soldiering, not romance. You're not technically military anymore. Can't get anything past you, can I? See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. Suiting up. Ready, Freddy? Hope we're all that ready. Callow. All right? Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multisensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. <laughs> They said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Uh, sorry. You okay?
I've got the training, people, the tools. We can do this. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? Hell. There. Sit us down at this nav point. to even start. Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7, that signal we scanned must be this connected with the atmosphere. This analysis provides us with important research data. We can data use the outpost antenna to track it down. To scan and collect Let's get the data. power back on. We can utilize it to develop new technologies is getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. But they didn't have a pathfinder. They do now. We'll make EOS own. Got a code lock key. Gives us access if we need it. functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. Interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside... Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running? It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. We didn't expect this... 
Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. I'm not a salvager. I'm a pathfinder. We've come to fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look. I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Well, maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Oh. Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. Company.
You took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. I'll take another look around the outpost. Just finding it won't be enough. Hope you're smarter than we were. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Go on. We'll take it from here. I guess Crazy Blue has to buy her parts from someone else. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site-1 now, right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site-1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. Let's not forget what else happened on Habitat 7. This is powerful alien tech. We need to respect it. Go slow. For sure. We'll follow your lead. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site-1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. So if that structure could make a difference here, well, that would be really good. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Well, what do you know? The outpost research center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here too. This tech is how we survive in Andromeda. Ingenuity on the ground. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source. And maybe whoever else is looking. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build.
Another code, like we already found. If walls could talk. Actually, with enough sensory data, I might be able to reconstruct an image of the past. Wait, you can do that? Normally, it would be impossible. But since this is an initiative building, I have access to a multitude of data and arrays. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A nomad. Six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. I might be drooling a little bit. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's... Find a good spot. Activating automated forward station deployment. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Ugh, I can't get traction. It's too steep. Switch to six-wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boosters can accelerate you out of trouble. Got it. Signal's coming from that structure up ahead.
I'm picking up initiative tech nearby, from above us. I see it. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. enough to carry heavy equipment up there. I think that's enough. Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Wait! Back off, or I will put you down! Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. All right, time to get off. Don't like being sat on, huh? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but... You're for real, huh? Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. I know these things from Habitat 7! Later! Just take them out! Keep targeting that one! They make a little box! first tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. The remnant? These monoliths, the observer and assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the remnant. Like, my name's better as PB. Ryder, you've been studying this remnant technology? What have you learned? Plenty. Not nearly enough. It's old, it uses glyphs, and it's well protected. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for EOS. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. 
You're sure it'll help Eos? Or am I just a handy way to get those monoliths online? I'm a little offended by that, Ryder. Uh-huh. Okay, maybe. But we both get what we want. Just try. It's not like we can make this planet worse. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. levels increasing. Imagine leaving all the craziness on the Nexus to be the first settlers here. So much riding on you, and then... This time will be different. Right. This is our element. Pathfinder, the Scourge has reached this remnant site. Hostile activity present. Looks like Ket Tech.
I think that's a remnant device. I advise scanning it, Pathfinder. What's this doing in a cat camp? Judging by the damage, the cat were extracting data. This core is too damaged to properly read what they received. Then we'll just have to find more. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Look there. That spot is shelter, water, stable ground. It was initially overlooked due to heavy kept presence at the nearby remnant structure, but it would be an excellent outpost site. Cat and remnant. Seems you can't find one without the other. So, if we clear the skies, this might be our new home. Life support is back on the line. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Site One folks were interested in the monoliths, too. Did they learn anything? Mostly what you learn the hard way. But hey, now you're here. Remember the early data on EOS back home? When everywhere was labeled H with a bunch of numbers? <laughs> Your dad put those readings up in his office. Knew them all by heart. Wonder what those worlds really looked like then. And now. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface.
reached radiation levels within acceptable limits. More remnant bots. This one's not so hostile. I'll need to use the interface that controls this. Interface successful, Pathfinder. I think we can get over there. so close. I just know it. Once we get that linguist, we'll crack it. There's so much tech here. I detect a high level of remnant encryption here. Some of the pictures are missing. Wonder if they're around here. They were saving any data they could. In case it helped the next try. That's us. The next try is us. Interface successful, Pathfinder. That should complete the glyphs, Pathfinder. Interface failed, Pathfinder. Defense systems engaging. It appears to reconfigure panels that rise from the floor. That could come in handy. so close. I just know it. Once we get that linguist, we'll crack it. There's so much tech here.
interface accepted. That did... A slow start. Whatever that did. We got I this. see pathways lighting up all we... over. The monoliths oh, no. are resonating. No! You see contact? Well, whatever's happening, they're definitely connecting. You did good. Keep doing more. Hit drop shift. Seriously? Can't catch a break. Remnant tech. I was just thinking the same thing. above normal radiation levels. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. I can't believe the Nexus exiles so many. We weren't there. We all know. Someone's got to fix this mess. We support that Pathfinder one job at a time.
That looks like a cat facility of some kind. Those assholes took over my best research site. They won't let you near the monolith without a fight. Reload! Cat incoming! Hostile shuttle incoming. Reinforcements. Do they know we're here? got the monolith well protected. We'll need to cut that shield's power supply. Let's get to it before there's any more cat.
That was pretty cool. Huh. Well, yeah. Guess it was. Still haven't told me who you are. I'm the Pathfinder. Are you now? My name's Scott Ryder. I'm Drac, Clan Nackmore. You'll forgive me if I didn't just trust a stranger from the Nexus. They haven't exactly treated us Krogan well. What are you doing out here? You're not the only one hunting, Cat. Yeah, bet you're mowing down an army with that gear. Nexus knows shit about the Cat. They think they're safe. <laughs> But they're just waiting to die out there in space. I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a while now. Taking out Ked bases, fighting ground troops. <clears throat> I know what they can do. It's not pretty. You know, we could use a Krogan like you, Drek. I'm flattered, but do you have any idea how many humans I've watched die? Your meat is spoiled. Besides, the day I help the Nexus again is the day the clouds part and the Ket keel over. No offense. None taken. Good, because I'm getting bored and the Ket are getting stronger. Seem particularly interested in this alien tech. Remnant? Yeah, that. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there. This component was security tagged for Site 2. Looks like they had some sort of special project going. Let's find the rest. He seems fun. symbols. Wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner. I think that's enough.
You good at this? Done. The monoliths are online and connected to... something in the lake. This could be the master switch we're looking for. I'll meet you there. Don't do anything without me. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Heads up looks like a Keck construct. So it is. Life support is back online. 